What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing something where I'm going to pick who the best point guard in NBA 2K20 my team is, and I'm going to be doing it for a bunch of different categories. So before we get on to anything, big, big thanks to Tier Maker or Bracket Fights, the same company, for sponsoring this video. Basically, Tier Maker, the company to make the tier list, actually hit me up after seeing the tier list and asked, well, wondered if I was going to be able to... Um, make a video using the site and I actually think we could get another tier list type thing for the middle of the month which is really really good so it means that again because 2k constantly are releasing cards that outfiles other cards that we can probably do one of these in the middle of every single month as well because there is people asking for tier lists every two weeks and I think this might be able to appease those type of people so obviously as you guys can see it is a full bracket right here for the point guard position and yeah so we are going to be deciding who are the best who's the best point guard and who's the best in each category and also if you guys are new to the channel subscribe we're trying to win 150,000 subscribers by the first of may but anyway now let's get on to it so these eight players here there's gonna be eight players in each category these are what i'm gonna call the giants these are all six six and above point guards and obviously this ben simmons i probably should have put in the other 95 overall ben simmons but look it is what it is this 90 this one and 95 overall doesn't make that much of a difference the eight up here are the budget point guards. The eight down here, I'm going to call the shooting point guards. So these guys, mainly their job is to shoot the ball. And these guys right here are the undersized slashers. So these guys are all elite dunkers. And obviously they're all point guards and a little bit undersized. Because they're taller, they would be in this lineup right here. But anyway, we're going to start off with, I'm going to start with the Giants matchup right here. So first matchup in the first round is Penny Hardaway against Reggie Theus. Okay, so I think this is a fairly obvious one that it's Penny Hardaway that goes in there. But Reggie Theus is not a bad card, especially if you want a five out post up cheese. I'm pretty sure he's got back down Punisher. He's got good post games. So especially early on in the year, he was a legit threat if you guys were using um, pretty much against anybody, he was a threat. Then we've got Dante Exum against Magic Johnson. And while Dante Exum does put up quite a decent fight in terms of Defense, he's not far off in terms of slashing the basket, though he is very far off. Shooting wise, I would take Exum over Magic, but Exum, although he put up a good fight, maybe one one category if you're looking at this as a bunch of them, is a better shooter, has a better release. But Magic Johnson's bigger, he's stronger, he's faster, he dunks. So Magic Johnson comfortably wins this one. And we got Ben Simmons and LeBron. And this one is probably the closest. Actually, no, it's not the closest to the first round matchups. The next one is, but. This is one of those matchups where whoever wins this matchup is a guarantee to win the next one. I just made them randomly. I didn't seed any of them because it'd be very, very obvious if they're all seeded. But basically, Simmons and LeBron, I'd say animations-wise, they're even. The whole difference is, is that shooting-wise, LeBron has a big advantage. I do think, however, when we do get a Ben Simmons that shoots the three ball really well, um, that it's going to be a pretty good... Well, sorry, it's going to be a pretty good card when we get a Ben Simmons that shoots it. And I think that that card will probably be the best point guard in the game. Until obviously we see point guard Giannis, which is kind of a matter of when, not if. Last matchup is Lonzo Ball versus Sean Livingston. So Lonzo is basically a worse Dante X, in my opinion. And Sean Livingston has actually got some decent height, 6'7", is actually a really good defender, shoots the ball well when he's wide open. But the lack of quick first step means I'm going to put Lonzo Ball in right here. So he wins that first round matchup. Next, we have got Magic Johnson and Penny Hardaway in the Giants semi-final. So, right here, these two guys are in the semis. So, in the Giants category, it is Penny Hardaway against Magic. I think that there's advantages and disadvantages to both of them. Magic's got the post game, whereas Penny Hardaway's got the deep three. Penny's got a better release. Penny and Magic are even, I think, going to the basket. Magic's got better defense. Although Penny does have gold clamps now, he still got 77 ladder quickness, whereas Magic Johnson's an elite defender and Magic Johnson can switch. So I'm going to say just in terms of pure versatility, in a close one, I'm going to put Magic Johnson in. But this, again, is a close one. And if you guys do think Penny's better, I'm not going to say you're wrong because without question, Penny Hardaway is a great, great card. Now we have got Lonzo Ball. So Lonzo, say not Lonzo Ball. Now we've got Lonzo Ball versus LeBron James. LeBron James versus Lonzo in a absolute, like, there's no point even talking about anything. LeBron James is better than Lonzo in every single way. So last up is the final. Magic Johnson versus LeBron James to see who the best giant point guard in the game is. 
So again, just like Penny Hardaway, both these cards have their advantages and disadvantages. So Magic's got the post game, which is huge. LeBron's got the deep three and a better release. However, I think unlike Penny, LeBron's a, not a lockdown defender and he also does a really good job of um, when he switched guarding post players. I also think that LeBron James, he's got more Hall of Fame badges. He's got like comparable badges like Dimer and stuff to him. And I don't know, I just prefer LeBron James in a close one purely because I think more so than anything, range extender is what's, um, is, is the main factor in this, but LeBron James goes and wins the Giants matchup. So he comes through as the winner of our first category. Next up, we are going to go on to the slashers. So these guys are the slashers right here. First up is Baron Davis versus Dame Lillard. And I'm telling you, this is a matchup that I'm gonna give to a card that I don't really use too much. And it's gonna be Dame Lillard. And I'm gonna explain why right now. These cards are almost identical. Dame Lillard though has got better badges like Hall of Fame Dimer. And the problem is that Baron Davis is a steady shooter. Not only does he have a steady shooter, he has it silver. So it's barely a benefit in terms of having contested shots. And it also means he misses a lot of open shots. Steady shooter is a horrendous badge. And the fact that they literally they literally took it off Opal Wade kind of sums up how bad a badge steady shooter is. Next up is Derek Rose versus Russell Westbrook. In terms of slashing to the basket, I think it's even. In terms of release, I think it's even. So I have a feeling that at some stage we're gonna get an elite Westbrook card. I'm not have a feeling, I know for a fact. Because Westbrook's release is really good this year. Westbrook's animations are really good and smaller guys are not as outclassed as they have been in previous years. But Derrick Rose is getting the win because again, he shoots way better and has range extender. I think they're identical, well not identical. I think they're even in terms of slashing to the basket, in terms of defense and stuff. However, I do give the nod to Derrick Rose over also Westbrook just because of the jump shot. Okay, these, this is a close matchup right here. Gilbert Arenas versus Ja Morant. So I like Ja. Ja's release is fantastic. Ja can play a little bit of defense. He's got gold range extender dunks on everybody. However, pretty much everything you can say about Ja, you can say about Gilbert, except Gilbert has got Hall of Fame range extender. He's got Hall of Fame clamps as well, which is absolutely massive. So Gilbert Arenas is going through in a pretty easy one over Ja Morant. And Stefan Marbury versus John Wall. Uh, there's no question about it, Marbury. <laughs> Wall's pretty good though, especially Sapphire Wall. I'm telling you, Sapphire Wall is pretty good in this game. Not the new Sapphire, not the old Sapphire Wall, the new one. He's actually not bad at all, but Wall, an all right shooter, really good slasher, really, really quick. And for that reason, he has a little bit of worth. He's not absolutely worthless, but in terms of comparing him to Marbury and putting him in the elite tier players, He's not really good enough, and I probably shouldn't have put him in elite tier, to be honest. But um, okay, now we're on to the second round matchups, and it's Lillard versus Derrick Rose. And this is a really, really tough one, because I prefer Derrick Rose's release to Lillard's. However, it's hard to argue, just purely stats-wise, that Derrick Rose is better than Lillard. Um, Lillard's better at pretty much everything. And yeah, maybe speed, because Derrick Rose is at perfect speed. This is, this is gonna be one of the closest matchups here. And again, this is all personal preference. I'm going with who I prefer. There's no way of saying who's objectively better because if you're looking stats wise, Lillard's obviously going in. However, I prefer Derrick Rose. Still to this day, like Derrick Rose came out in, on, I think was it November the 28th? He came out and it's currently the 19th of February and Derrick Rose is still an elite tier point guard in this game, which is crazy. And we got Gilbert and Stefan Marbury. And I'm telling you right now, this is going to be the most controversial pick so far. And I am putting through, even over Evo Gilbert, I'm putting through Stefan Marbury. And I'm gonna explain why. I don't know why. I do not miss Marbury. Gilbert, Marbury has somewhat comparable stats and badges to Gilbert. Basically anything Gilbert has Hall of Fame, Marbury has gold at least. But the whole thing is, is that I think they're very similar going to the basket. I think Marbury's got better dunk animations. He triggers some of the craziest, craziest dunks in this game. I'm telling you, some of the craziest ones. And also, I don't miss with his release. His release reminds me of Chauncey Billups, the two of those guys. They may look a little bit awkward, but I just, I'm auto greens with them. And just in terms of playing, I much, much prefer Marbury. So, two ones that 
Definitely is going to cause a bit of controversy. Marbury over Arenas and Rose over Lillard. But again, this is my list. This is my opinion. So now we're going Derek Rose versus Stefan Marbury. So I'm not going to lie. I'm putting in Marbury. I'm putting in Stefan Marbury. You guys are probably going to call me crazy again. But Stefan Marbury and Derek Rose are almost identical stats wise. I think they do the exact same things except for Marbury's release. So I'm putting in Marbury. It's actually crazy. Like, I have 95 Lynn, who's incredible. And Marbury's so good, he's almost completely erratic, giving Lynn zero minutes. Like, so Lynn, Jeremy Lynn barely gets on the court for me anymore, which is absolutely nuts. But yeah, so Marbury has gotten into the final four as the winner of that category. Now we're going to go on to the budget players as category number three. So, budget players Kyle Lowry versus Dennis Smith Jr. Dennis Smith Jr. offensively is equal to Kyle Lowry. However, clamps, lads. You've got no clamps, you're gonna struggle. So, Kyle Lowry, absolutely elite, around 9, 10 KMT. Fantastic release, unreal um, defender as well. Problem is, he's only six foot one, but still can compete with almost anybody. D Brown versus Jim Fredette. In the same uh, as the last one, it is going to go to the person who has clamps, which is D Brown. So, D Brown is, again, Super, super quick. He's got clamps. He's got range extender. While Jimmer has it a Hall of Fame, I prefer D-Brand's release. So I think D-Brand's even the better shooter than Jimmer. And also he's a slasher. So these two guys comfortably into the next round. Then we got Chauncey Billups versus Patrick Beverly. So in a not very close... I like Beverly. A lot of people say Beverly's terrible. I like Beverly. But in a close one, it's go... Or in a not very close one, it's going Chauncey Billups. Chauncey Billups defends, the defends equally as well as Patrick Beverly. Except the difference is Chauncey Billups has got Hall of Fame range extender. He's got like Hall of Fame dimer. He's got an unbelievable handle, unbelievable release. Well, I don't mind in any way Patrick Beverly. I think he's a decent card. No way is he even on the same level as someone like a Chauncey Billups. Next up, Lynn versus Exum. And I'm going to say Lynn fully voted up a pink diamond or even a 95 overall diamond. I'm putting Lynn through. Although Exum's a pretty good card. Like Exum, if you like if. At some stage, an Exum comes out with range extender and can dunk. I'm telling you, that's going to be one of the best cheap cards in the game. However, for some reason, like, if Exum could dunk, this would be a conversation. Is he 6'6", six, six, he's six, six, elite animations, he's got an elite jump shot release. If he could, if he either had range extender or could dunk. And like, Dan, it's not like Dante Exum can't dunk. He dunks very well. For some reason, 2K gave him a 30 dunk. So, that's why, um, for some reason, I'm just kind of confused about Exum. But if they gave him a dunk... He would be, like, this would be an actual competition between him and the absolute elite free Jeremy Lin. But next, we've got Kyle Lowry versus D Brown. And this is another one that is very, very close. So it all depends on what you want. I put them even shooting wise, I put them even on defense. It all depends on what you want. Would you rather have a slasher or a passer? Because Kyle Lowry is a really nice passer. I think he's either a gold or Hall of Fame dimer, whereas D Brown is nothing. However, D Brown dunks unbelievably well. So it all depends on the team you want to run and if you're on an extreme budget. But the big thing is because this is budget, a lot of the time you're going to actually if it's your if you're looking for a main man, D Brown is gonna be the player to go with. If you're looking for just a guy to play the point guard position in a budget lineup, I'm gonna go with Kyle Lowry. He's gonna make the other guys around him better with his floor general and dimer. So that's why he's going in here. Next, we have got Chauncey Billups and versus Jeremy Lin. This is, again, another extremely close one. So, Jeremy Lin, 97 overall, is one of the best point guys in the game. Chauncey Billups, 95 overall, is also one of the best point guys in the game. And this is the thing. It's like, Lin has got a good release. Chauncey Billups has got a really good release. He's got an even better release, one of the best releases in the game. Lin can dunk, whereas Chauncey Billups can't. And... Lynn has got basically all the same Hall of Fame badges. So I think a 97 overall, Lynn is actually going in over Chauncey Billups. And that is a really, really close one. This is a bit like a West versus the Eastern Conference. If Chauncey Billups was uh, up here versus Kyle Lowry, I would have easily given it to Chauncey Billups. And in an absolute landslide in a four game sweep, Jeremy Lynn is going in for Kyle Lowry right here. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So Jeremy Lynn wins the budget point guard um bracket right here so now we are on to the shooters bracket so some of these cards are new some of them are old but all of them can shoot and while some of them can dunk they wouldn't really be known as slashers 
Okay, John Stockton versus Jamal Murray. Again, John Stockton is like a worse Chauncey Billups, whereas Jamal Murray is also a worse Chauncey Billups. Um, Murray's release, though, I put it over Stockton. Stockton actually is a super quick release. He's an elite defender. Um, he can shoot from range as well. I give Murray the edge just because, again, he is he's three inches taller, which helps and play a little bit of defense. Not a great defender, but he has clamps anyway, and he is a threat going to the basket, which Stockton isn't. Now we've got Jason Terry versus Tony Parker. Shooting-wise, even. Speed-wise, even. Defense-wise, similar. Um, Tony Parker can dunk better. Tony Parker is also quicker. Um, and in a pretty close one. Like, this is not a landslide victory, but I'm going to give Tony Parker the nod over Jason Terry. So now we have got the battle of the cheap players from All-Star Weekend. We have got Steve Nash versus Chris Paul. So I'm going to say this right now. I'm not the biggest fan of this Chris Paul card. I could not care less what price he's going for. I don't think his release is great. Steve Nash, I'm not the biggest fan of either, but I prefer his release to Chris Paul. It all depends. Like, is the three inch height advantage worth the ability to dunk? Because Chris Paul can dunk, but he's not going to dunk often because he's only six foot tall. Whereas Nash can't dunk at all, but he's three inches taller. So that's the question I had to ask. And honestly, if I was to run with one of them, I would run with Steve Nash, even though Chris Paul is all right. I think Steve Nash is just slightly better. And I've seen enough people use Nash at way higher level than I've seen people use Chris Paul. Next up is Kyrie Irving versus Trey Young. Kyrie Irving has a very bad release. However, again, no clamps, no move on. So Trey Young has got no clamps. He shoots, he's an elite shooter from deep. There's no question about that, but not having clamps is a huge one. Kyrie Irving is a good shooter from deep, has got a decent release. Not a great one, but it's it's okay. Um, they ruined his release in previous years, but I'm still gonna give the nod to Kyle Lowry just because he has clamps. However, if this was the other Kyle Lowry, if this was the older Kyle Lowry, I would 100% have given the nod to Trey Young. So now we're on to the semifinals. Jamal Murray versus Tony Parker. And Jamal Murray's two inches taller. Jamal Murray shooting is even. Going to the basket is even. Defense, Tony Parker is a big advantage. And again, just being an overall point guard, I'm going to give Parker the advantage. So he is going to slot right in there as a finalist for the shooter tier. And then, without question, Steve Nash is coming in for Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving just had to come up against anyone half decent. I genuinely think had Chris Paul come up against Kyrie Irving, and this wasn't random, um, that Chris Paul probably would have got it. I don't think Kyrie's awful, but I still don't think he's very good. I think they're going to need to completely change his release. He's got too many hitches in the release, too hard to time. And there's a reason why you never see anyone half decent using Kyrie Irving. Last up, Tony Parker versus Steve Nash. They basically do everything at an almost identical level, except for the fact that Tony Parker can dunk as Steve Nash can't, even though Tony Parker is not a great dunker. Release-wise, I also think I prefer Tony Parker, so I'm going to give Tony Parker the nod. And to be completely honest, had Jamal Murray beat Tony Parker, I probably would have given Jamal Murray the nod as well. But Tony Parker is a better slasher than Steve Nash. He's also a better... Um, he's also a little bit faster i think and the fact he can dunk is a big positive okay so now we are on to the final four lebron james jeremy lynn tony parker and stefan marbury are these the best four point guards in the game maybe maybe not but in terms of these four categories i think i have picked four of the best so the first semi-final is lebron james versus stefan marbury so this is closer than a lot of people think because Stefan Marbury in the pick and roll is very, very difficult to stop because he can attack the basket and dunk on everybody and he also is able to hit snatchbacks. Defensively, um, or shooting-wise, obviously I'm going to give Marbury a nod. Defensively, it's LeBron, just a much better defender and he can switch. Passing-wise, LeBron's got Dimer, Hall of Fame, which is a little bit of an upgrade so he gets it. Um, Slashing-wise... I'm going to give it to LeBron James as well. So for that reason, in a kind of close one, LeBron James is going in here. LeBron James is going in as the uh, first finalist in the point guard uh, competition. So now we've got Jeremy Lin versus Tony Parker. Okay, so Jeremy Lin, 97 overall. Badges wise is the exact same as Tony. Jeremy Lin is a much better dunker. Jeremy Lin has a similar release, but I do think Tony's is a little bit better. 
And the question is, is like, I think they're very, very similar, but Lane's a better dunker. There, I'm gonna put Lane through. So we have got a free card. I know it is a little bit of a grind to get him to 97, but we have a free card that has made the final against LeBron James for, I have zoomed in way too much there. That should be better, yeah. So that has made the final versus LeBron James. So this is the final of the point guards, LeBron versus Jeremy Lin. So Jeremy Lin has got a few things over LeBron. Hall of Fame range extender and release, he has way over. Although LeBron does have um, similar passing stats and shoots the ball relatively well. Not quite as good as Lin, but still relatively well. However, there is just one major thing that's gonna separate these two guys, and it's height. Honestly, I think that if Magic Johnson was in this matchup right here, that I would pick Lane over Magic. However, range extender, a little bit of an ability to shoot. LeBron James goes in as the king of point guards, winning the very, very first bracket fight video on this channel. So in my opinion, the best point guard in the game is LeBron James. So anyway, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.